Item Number SCP-6320 Object Class Euclid Pending Reclassification Special Containment Procedures SCP-6320 is currently contained within a 19 by 19 meter chamber built around it, located on the northernmost floor of Research Site 107. Individuals entering SCP-6320's containment chamber are to do so in standard protective attire. The chamber must be thoroughly cleaned once, update twice daily, and no loose material left within 16 meters, update 25 meters, update 30 meters of SCP-6320. Note, containment procedures pending revision following incident 6320A. Description, SCP-6320 is an extra-dimensional rift in the stone wall at the bottom of a disused copper mine in Beep, Nevada. Appearing in the shape of a mineral deposit vein, the anomaly has been described as resembling a tear into outer space, with the interior even exhibiting a parallax effect. However, SCP-6320's behavior as a flat surface suggests this apparent depth is a visual illusion. Any loose particle matter, such as dirt, crumbs, dust, etc., or freestanding liquid left within a 16 meter radius of SCP-6320 gradually rearranged into a copy of SCP-6320's shape before disappearing completely. Additionally, any object or creature that comes into direct physical contact with SCP-6320 immediately disappears as well. Recording equipment that has vanished after touching the anomaly produces no footage. Note, no means of recovering vanished objects or creatures have been found to date. Addendum, Site 107 is currently in the first phase of expansion. Construction will incorporate present mining structures into the new building. Phase 2 will oversee construction of new containment areas to house additional anomalies extra-dimensional in nature. Update. Phase 2 cancelled due to lack of available personnel. From M. Carson to P. Hayes. Date July 5th, 2019. Subject regarding 107 expansion. While I understand the decision to cancel 107's expansion, I would like to remind everyone that our current safety procedures in regards to extra-dimensional anomalies are woefully out of date. The last extensive study I can find into the recovery of objects and creatures from extra-dimensional spaces is stated in 1989. I believe emphasis on updating safety protocol in this area would highly benefit the Foundation as a whole, considering our volume of dimensional anomalies and the extensive danger they pose. The fewer people we lose, the more we have at our disposal. Dr. M. Carson Addendum 2 After a numbness movement was observed in a coffee spill roughly 4 meters outside SCP-6320's previously documented area of effect, a temporary perimeter has been been established by containment personnel and will be monitored for additional activity. On-site personnel are strongly advised to keep workspaces as clean and free of debris as possible, despite being outside the recorded area of effect. From M. Carson to P. Hayes. Date, July 21st, 2019. Subject regarding 107 Expansion. I want to make it clear that I have no issue with the eventual decommissioning of 107. Following the decision to hold expansion, downsizing is the clear choice. SCP-6320 has shown no outstanding potential for danger thus far and doesn't warrant a 200-man crew, especially given how chronically short-staffed we have been lately. My staff could potentially be utilized elsewhere. But this brings me to my current issue. I want to keep my staff, at least for another year or two. SCP-6320 is an ideal candidate for a 
development of the safety measures I mentioned to you previously. Aside from the recent slight expanding of its effect radius, SCP-6320 seems entirely predictable and measurable in its effects. The same cannot be said of most extra-dimensional anomalies. Up to your safety precautions will save us manpower in the long run. We should seize the opportunity for this pursuit while people are still here. Frankly, I think it would be foolish not to. Dr. M. Carson Addendum 3 Cleaning Regiment of SCP-6320's chamber has been altered following a series of more tremors felt in the lower floors of the facility near the anomaly. The chamber is to be cleaned twice daily, increased from once. No other changes are deemed necessary at this time. From M. Carson to P. Hayes Date August 28th, 2019 Subject regarding 107 Expansion I'm going to be blunt. You're making a mistake. We have nearly 200 qualified people on site with what seems to be one of the least volatile dimensional anomalies we currently have in containment. We have very little to risk and very much to gain. Our safety measures of these things are so outdated that another catastrophe as bad as expunged is basically inevitable at this point. I know my staff could be useful elsewhere, but they could be equally be used here. Right now, I only want one year. One year and we can save potentially thousands of lives in the event of another disaster. The Foundation wouldn't have a staff shortage in the first place if we put more effort into the safety of our personnel. We do what we do for the safety of humanity. You forget our people are human. I strongly advise you reconsider. Dr. M. Carson Incident Log 6320A Lock Date 6th of September 2019 1.26pm Note the following log was taken from a telephone call between Dr. Corbin, a researcher at Site 107, and MTF Alpha 9 Dispatch, Nevada. Begin log. Alpha 4 Dispatch. Hi, I know this isn't your department at all, but I... I really don't know who else to call. This is one of the only phone numbers I had. I need immediate help with a, a situation? Emergency kind of situation, maybe? What's the situation? I'm working at Site 107 out in Beep with SCP-6320, and I got in late today. I... and I can't... I can't find the door! The door? The... the door! I can't find the front doors of the site. The parking lot is here. The checkpoints and everything. But the front doors are... they're just gone! I don't know what's happening. I can't get a hold of anyone. Nobody is answering the phones. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble passing what you're... The site's not here. What do you mean? It's... This is old mine shaft entrance where the front building used to be. There's nothing here. It's totally empty inside. It's just gone. The whole site is gone. I'm going to try and find someone who can help you. And Nog. Addendum 4. Continued procedures of pending revision following the disappearance of Site 107. SCP-6320's description and location within the shaft remained unchanged. Pending reclassification to Keda. Recovery efforts are currently on hold due to lack of available personnel. 